In this tutorial video for Onshape, we're going to be looking at how to extend your knowledge of Sketch and Extrude, and this time use a different feature, which is going to be to use the Revolve tool. So, Revolving tool can be used to make lots of different shapes, similar to how you'd make them on a, on a sensor lathe, or something, imagine it being spun around. Um, for example, we've got a wine glass. Uh, here, you might make something like a pint glass, this sort of thing. Um, but the most simple one, and what we're going to do to, to kick off just to learn how to use the process, is going to be to make a donut. Now, the thing for a revolve is to try to imagine what it's going to look like if you take the object and slice it in half. So I've hidden that sketch there. So basically, what we've got to do a revolve, this donut consists of two aspects. You've got a circle, which is what the donut would look like if you sliced it in half. You would just see the cross section as being one circle. So you have the circle. And then you have a line, which is the axis, and you revolve the donut, uh, the circle around the axis. And that's basically how all of these shapes work. Uh, you've got basically um, the sketch of the half of the object, and you either draw a separate axis, like on the donut, a separate line. Or, if it's for the case of the glass, then you can actually use the straight straight line. Uh, so on the donut, as we saw there, we had the circle and then a separate line for the axis. If you're doing it for a glass, you might have the sketch and the straight line that makes up half of that sketch there uh, can, can act as your axis. So, first of all, to think about when you make these shapes, think about what the thing would look like if you sliced it in half. Right, now we're going to get started. So to make a revolve document, we're going to go to the Onshape menu. We're going to make a new document. So go to Create Document and call it Revolve. And we'll make a few different tabs in here like I've just showed you. And the first one is going to be the donut. So we go to Part Studio 1 and to rename it, we right click on the tab and go Rename and call it Donut. Use the American spelling because it's quicker. And then to start drawing our donut, we're going to use the top work plane and draw a circle and an axis. So you click on the top work plane and go to sketch and then either right click to view normal to sketch plane or click on the top so you can view down on it. And then we're going to draw a circle. We don't want it to be attached to anything, so not locked onto any of these other existing entities. So just draw a circle over here. Click to start, click to finish, and then hover over and type in a, a number. I'm going to make mine 30. We can change that afterwards. And then, as well as the circle, we need to draw an axis. So we use a straight line tool, and you can keep it in normal line mode, or we can put it into construction mode for this, so it's, it doesn't actually show up as a piece of geometry. We're going to draw that straight line in line with this axis down here. And... There's our axis. Again, the, the, the length of the axis doesn't really matter. If you find that you're drawing extra lines by mistake, you can press escape to, to quit the drawing, the drawing of that line. Okay, so those are the two objects that we need, the circle and the axis. So we can okay that sketch. And now we're going to move from 2D into 3D. So it's a good idea to change the view to trimetric or isometric. And you can see what we've got there. And now we can go into the features menu and change our sketch from 2D into 3D by revolving it. So hit the revolve tool, make sure it's set for solid, not surface, make sure that we're adding a new feature, and then it asks us which face do we want to revolve, so we click on the circle. Next thing it's asking us is what is the axis, the revolve axis to spin it around. Then we go click on the revolve axis and then click on the line that you've created and you can see there that it's creating this revolve around that the axis. You can change the settings of this. Um, you can go into one direction, so it's not spinning all the way around. You could also drag that little arrow there to set the, the angle of revolution, if we want it to just be 180 degrees. We could type that in. Um, but yeah, for this donut, obviously we want it to be a full all the way around. So we click OK, and that would be ready to put into our portfolio. To do that, obviously, we would want to hide these planes. 
So we can click the eyeball next to the origin, next to the top, next to the front and the right. And that shows our donor a bit, a bit more nicely to put into our portfolio. We could also change the color by right clicking and go edit appearance for part one and maybe make that more of a sort of donut color. Um, there are other things that you can do in here. For example, you might want to go to the view cube. You can change it to shaded without edges. It looks really nice. And you could even put it into perspective view so you can kind of actually see it as it gets bigger the closer up you are and the smaller as it disappears into the distance. So that's quite a nice little trick as well if you want to use that as your print screen to add into your portfolio. I'm going to leave mine with perspective view off and with hidden edges and positioned in trimetric. Okay, now we can make some changes to this very simply just by changing sketch one. Those are the two entities that we created. If we right click and edit that sketch, the obvious thing to do would be to maybe move uh, the circle closer to the axis. So I clicked on the circle, moved it closer to the axis, and then say OK. And you can see there that that's changed the proportions of my donut quite a bit. There's other ways that we could change it. If we edit that sketch, I could move it further away. And then we get more of a hoop, a ring type shape. And obviously what we could do is also change the size of the circle. Which, depending on, on the scale of all the rest of the stuff, it could end up being noticeably different or or whatever so your sizes are important the the dimensions that you put into it but really for for this exercise it's just about the the proportions of the of the the circle compared with the axis and how close it is to the axis is going to is going to give us our shape we don't want it to touch the axis if it actually touches it um it won't work it won't generate it has to have a, at least a little bit of a gap in there and there's our donut Okay, so that's that. Now we can move on and look at doing some other objects that get revolved, things like a wine glass or a pint glass. So to do that, we're going to make a new tab. So the plus to insert new element, and then we'll create a new part studio. For this one, we're going to make a glass. So we'll right click, rename it. Uh, we'll call it pint glass. Okay, and then on this one, instead of using the top plane, I think we'll use the front one. So click the front plane and sketch on it. And again, we can either hit the front or view normal to sketch plane. And to draw our glass, we're going to start in the center on the axis and draw a straight line horizontally coming out and going up at a slight angle and then coming in until it meets the axis and then finally finishing it off until it joins back up with our original line like that. And what we're looking for is a shaded a shaded object, a solid shaded object like that. Now we could obviously use the dimension tool to set the specific heights and widths. Um, it's good practice but you don't have to. I'm just doing it to round up these uh, to round up these numbers. So I've added some dimensions to my glass, rounded it up to the nearest to the nearest millimeter just to make it a bit neater. Now that I've got that sketch, I can tick OK on sketch one. And again, we're moving from 2D to 3D, so I'm gonna change the view to trimetric. And I've already got an axis built into the shape, so I don't need to draw a new one. So when I now go to revolve, I'm gonna set it as a solid and new again. The faces to revolve, of the sketch that I've just drawn and then the axis I need to click revolve axis and then tell it that it's that line there and again you can see there that it's spun the object around that axis again if we wanted to we could change the settings of this if we didn't if we want to make a different sort of shape and not revolve it the full way but we are and that's okay. Now to make this into a glass, it doesn't look much like a glass because it isn't hollow, so what we could do at this point is to shell it. We've used the shell feature before, so let's use it again. So we we'll click shell, click on the top surface, and then that will create uh, an, empty, an empty cup for us, an empty glass. 
set that for two millimeters thickness. So there we go. So that's pretty simple, a pretty simple glass. Now, again, we could take that and put that into our portfolio at this stage, hide the origins and the planes first, change the color if you want to, right click, edit appearance, maybe make that green. And because it's a glass, we could drag the transparency down. Um, and there we go, and that's ready to, ready to go into our work. Obviously, we've got settings we can play around with over here. What I'd quite like to have a go at, that's a nice sort of tumbler. Uh, it's not really much of a pint glass, so we can make some pretty quick changes to that. We've got two things. We've got the Sketch 1, Revolve 1, and Shell 1. If we're going to Sketch 1 and edit that by right-clicking, and let's just put that into Normal to Sketch Plane so I can see what I'm doing. And it's come out the wrong way around, so let's just tilt it using these arrows. There we go. And there's our sketch. Again, I've actually got it backwards. There we go. Now, what we can do here is make some changes to that sketch. We can try and create a little lip in it, like we would have in a pint glass. I'm going to use the spline tool. And starting there, I'm going to come up. And double click to finish and then I'll use the line tool here to come across and click there and then come down and that finishes off my my glass so click OK now I need to go back into my revolve because it hasn't picked up the changes to the to the sketch so I'm going to need to just click on that extra little section that I've created and you can see it's made that now into, into the revolved glass. The shell hasn't regenerated because I need to make the changes to that and tell it that the instead of the, the top face, it's now changed. So I have to delete the old one and put the new face of revolve one on there. Okay, and then there's our glass. And obviously we can make some changes to that by right-clicking, going to the sketch, and we could... Maybe make this a little bit less, make that a little bit more, change the proportions ever so slightly, and there's our glass. Okay, so one of the other things that we might want to do on here, we could add some fillets, um, just slight ones, nothing too too big. Some slight fillets on there just to kind of round off the edge of the glass. Um, we could add some to the bottom. down here maybe and it just makes the thing look a little bit a little bit smoother so that's our glass we could do the same thing for a wine glass so let's make a new element create part studio I'll go through this one quite quickly right click rename and that one's going to be wine glass and again quick recap just a slightly different shape click the front Click Sketch. View Normal to Sketch Plane. Now, it's for a wine glass, it's got a base. So I'll draw the base first, coming from the center. Straight line goes out, goes up slightly, comes up at a bit of an angle. Then you've got the stem. Double click there, and then I'll use my spline tool to come click, 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 double click to finish. And then I'll finish that off with a straight line coming into the center and then finally coming down to the bottom. Now there's no measurements on that. I don't need to at the moment. I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, the sketch. Put it into trimetric and then we revolve it. Uh, solid, new. The sketch region is this one. The axis is this center line. OK that, and then the final thing would be to add a shell onto the top. And there's our wine glass, pretty straightforward. Again, what, like you did with the pint glass, you can go into Sketch 1 and make changes to it. If you think that it needs to change its proportions, maybe you need to make it a bit longer on here. Maybe you might want to make um, the stem a bit thicker or wider. You might want to make this more like a sort of champagne flute or a port port glass so you can make many many different types of 
types of glasses just by going into sketch one and moving those those nodes on the glass around you can make it a bit fatter and make it more like a sort of brandy glass or a whiskey glass or something like that and again we can add fillets into certain areas to round it off to make it look a little bit more realistic uh, is it like that one? yeah that one's okay and on here and in there Okay, and that's just sort of smooth, smooth that bit out a little bit. And there we go, so that's glasses. Now, once you've got the hang of this, and you've tried it on a donut and a pint glass and a wine glass, you can have a go at doing all sorts of different shapes and, and objects. Things that work really well as revolves would be something like a chess piece. All right, you can take a, a Google images of some chess pieces. And pretty much all of these, um, would in the olden days have been made or even nowadays would be made on a lathe using this process so the, the the tube of wood or metal would be spun around on an axis and then you'd carve into it um, which would be your sketch um, the good thing with chess pieces is that you can start with one basic shape like a pawn um, draw all the, all the bits at the bottom and then head and then once you've made that and revolved it, you can duplicate it and use that one template for your pawn to make your other bits. And you just need to make adjustments to the head for the rook, for the sort of shoulders and the head for the bishop and the king and the queen. The knight is quite tricky. You need to use a different technique to do the knight. But most of the other pieces um, you can use a revolve for. You can use a revolve for the bottom part of it. But when you come to do the horse's head, uh, that would need to be a different, a different process because it's not the same all the way around. Other things that you can revolve would be things like a baseball bat, for example, um, an egg, maybe. Um, so yeah, all sorts of different things that you can have a go at revolving, but I think probably the most easy ways to, to start uh, would be with things like a donut and a pint glass. So good luck, and look forward to seeing the quality of your work as it goes into your portfolios.